We are almost at the end of Exodus, and we are looking at day 26 here for the Daily Bread Bible Study for Sunday, January 26th, 2020, focusing on Exodus 35 through 37. Today, we will be discussing about making the tabernacle, about the three parts of that as I see it, creating time for rest, calling people to help, and then constructing and building it. So let's look at chapter 35. The creating time for rest really has to do with the emphasis of the Sabbath again, the Sabbath rest. And, you know, I find it very important that before you undergo any big project, there also needs to be a built-in opportunity to take rest and to get rest and relaxation because if you just keep on working and working, uh, it will not be good. Your quality will be diminished. And especially for this task for the holy, you know, tabernacle of the Lord, that they are wanting to have the quality of the work be very high. And so rest will be very important for that, which is why they're calling and having this mandate to observe the Sabbath as part of the construction of this tabernacle. The second part of that is to call people. It's very ambitious to try and do it by just a handful of people. You're going to need larger participation. So in Exodus 35, 21, it says, And they came, everyone whose heart was stirred, and everyone whose spirit was willing, and brought the Lord's offering to be used for the tent of meeting, and for all its service, and for the sacred vestments. You can't do this project alone, and in fact, this project by God is inviting everybody to have a claim and an opportunity to you know, come and contribute. That God wants to see people use their gifts and their talents and to use them in coordination with other faithful people to do something beautiful before the Lord. So I think the same is true for us. And as I was you know, talking about last time with Exodus 31, Exodus 36 kind of mimics that, focusing on two specifically gifted people with gifts that are helpful for God. So their names, as I mentioned last time, were Bezalel and Uholiab. So Bezalel and Uholiab. Uh, Bezalel, we see that he is um, the man, the all-around handy guy, the, the one who is good with woodworking, the one who is good with stone masonry, the one who is good with metalworking that he is kind of the go-to guy to be the leader for all of these different creations that require, you know, these handy type of object, objects. It says in Exodus 31, 2, See, I have called my name Bezalel, son of uh, Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. It's very important to say that he is from the tribe of Judah. I think his name gets, gets mentioned a lot in the future as the key person to make the stuff in the tabernacle because he is in fact from the tribe of Judah. We will learn that the tribe of Judah becomes the ruling party and it is where the kings of the later you know, bodies once they come into the, inhabit the promised land and become a nation and have a king, that the kings come from the tribe of Judah or also the other name for the people of the tribe of Judah are Jews. So this is where Jews will come from, from this heritage as well. Looking, uh, we see that uh, Bezalel makes the ark in Exodus 37.1 and makes the bronze altar as it said in 2 Chronicles 1.5. So we'll even see that other parts of scripture reference this gentleman. A holy ab. Now, it says that I have appointed with him a holy ab, son of Ahisamech, of the tribe of Dan. And I've given skill to all the skillful. So that's Exodus 31 6. A holy ab is described as the engraver, a designer, and em em embroiderer. And that's in Exodus 38. 
23. So I imagine he worked more with the fabrics, focusing on the curtains and the vestments. So I think that's what I take away from that. They've got one in charge of you know the physical, uh, the wood and the metal and the stone, and another with the fabrics and the cloth and all of that, the curtains and the vestments and you know working at that. So Aholiab and Bezalel. But in addition to that, <coughs> excuse me. Moses then called Bezalel and Aholiab and every skillful one to whom the Lord had given skill, everyone whose heart was stirred to come and do the work. They're in Exodus 36, 2. So we see that God is calling all people, gifting all people with gifts and abilities. Some are taking the lead. Others are helping out. Others may not be crafty, but are bringing contributions of offering of materials to be used for the tent. Everyone is contributing to the tent of meeting, the tabernacle of the Lord. So in chapter 37, our last one for today, we just have a list of what they made and how they made it according to God's instructions. The making of the Ark of the Covenant, making of the table of the bread of the presence, making the lampstand, making the altar of incense, and making the anointing oil and um, for the, you know, the incense of mixing the special blend of incense that is only supposed to be used in the tabernacle and not for common use uh, to make it just common every day. I want it to be distinctive for the use in the tabernacle. So that's all I have for today. We're going to wrap up Exodus next time. If you have any questions or you have any gifts or skills that you can contribute to our daily bread Bible study, I'd love to hear about your gifts. I'd love to see what you have to offer and how we can partner to be able to share God's um, message, God's story, the Bible, and work together to use what we have for God's purposes. So here ends day 26.